But I remember that night and being scared. Like, what did I get myself into? What did I get him into? Is this the rest of our lives? This is, this is so fun for me to say now because people thought I was so crazy and I knew when I left Colorado I was gonna marry Lauren Walker. I, I met Lauren at a, a youth camp where she was a student and I was the camp pastor. And right before I met him was when I felt like Jesus became real to me and I really understood who he was and what the cross did for me. And I've noticed Matt and I thought it was cute but I was like, I do not wanna be the camp the camper that has a crush on the camp speaker. Um, I can say with all integrity that uh, everything w was above board. I didn't know how it was going to work because it was, you know, the, there was an age gap. I was in college, she was in high school. He, the, the kind of, what do you do with that? You're the camp pastor, she's the, the camper. But here we are 18 years later, 16 years married, and uh, what I felt compelled leaving that camp actually came to fruition. You know, I've tried to never hide the fact, I don't think it's good for anybody for me to hide the fact that the first few years were really difficult for mm -hmm. us. The best way to put it is I had this um, over-romanticized view of what, what marriage was and what Lauren was gonna bring to my life and maybe some of the wounds she was gonna heal and some things that she was gonna be for me that, that she can't be, that I should have never expected her to be. Uh, for me, the problem in our marriage was Lauren. I would look for evidence to support this theory that, that Lauren was selfish and that Lauren was inconsiderate and that Lauren, and I would try to find, but because I never wanted to be uh, a yeller or um, then, then what I would do, and this is I, maybe worse, um, is I would just grow real cold and pouty because uh, there's nothing more masculine than growing cold and pouty, right? He felt like the problem in our marriage was me and I felt like the problem in our marriage was me. You know, so I was like, if I could just get it together, if I could just, you know, I need to be more consistent in my prayer life and in my time with the Lord. And if he's pleased with me, then I know I'm okay with God. And so um, that's where I was sick because I was looking to him to make sure that I was okay. And then if he's not pleased with me, my whole world crumbled and I didn't know what to do. There'd be this kind of coldness and distance, and then there'd be a blow up over something silly and dumb, like she didn't answer her cell phone or, or something like that, and we'd get in this huge fight, but it really wasn't about the cell phone. I had justified and looked for a ton of evidence that she didn't love me or that she wasn't supporting me. There was a confidence I should have been gaining from the Lord. I wasn't gaining it from the Lord in that season. I was trying to gain it from Lauren. I remember I would think, oh, we haven't had a fight in a while. We're probably gonna have a fight. I remember thinking that. And then maybe the next day, it was, something would blow up. There was a, it was either a Saturday or Sunday. And, and Lauren had done something um, that, that had, hurt my feelings again, or you know, I saw something that wasn't there or whatever, and man, I'm just frustrated. I mean, I'm just accusing uh, you know, her of all sorts of silly things. And man, she, she walked around our little bar area and just walked up and hugged me and said, I don't, I don't know what's going on in your heart, what's going on in your, but, but I love you. And I'm not, and so for whatever that moment of her extending that grace to me, when I was being such an idiot, um, gave me the clarity. And, and I remember thinking for the first time right at that moment, I'm the problem. She's not the problem, I'm the problem. And then that for me led to, we don't need counseling, I need counseling. That turning point that night for me that she showed me grace, that, that emboldened me to go, I wanna know where I can't see I want to know how deep this well goes that, that I'm operating out of. And so I went and started seeing uh, a counselor here uh, in this area, trying to get to the bottom of my own heart, my own head. The Lord has chosen, for whatever reason, 
um, to use men and women to accomplish his purposes. And, and so for, for whatever reason, it's a design, I've always joked that it's kind of like God has this, you know, take your kid to work day uh, where he uses men and women as the conduit through which his power flows. And so I think biblical counseling is one of those venues in which the Holy Spirit of God does the work of illumination through somebody who's sitting outside of you and your spouse, outside of just you, and helps you see things that you can't see on your own. With each stage and season of life, um, you find kind of a, a new facet of a person, a, that like so a new facet of Matt that I get to know and enjoy. And so then that, that puts a light on the rest of this person that I've known. And it's just more to enjoy and be a part of. Because Christ continues to transform Lauren and me, there's this ongoing process of discovery that seems to be inexhaustible. And so that's been a lot of fun. Matt just um, definitely was the uh, main tool that the Lord used to refine me. I can coast and I can get by, and I'm fine with that. I end up hitting a wall, but he refused to just coast. He wanted, he wanted more for us. I know that that the Lord has that the Lord has used Lauren um, in in my life um, to strengthen, grow, uh, and better me more than anyone else on earth.